YouTube, what is up? Y'all already know who it is, man. It's DTV, and I'm back with another banger in today. We got Bill Burr. It's showtime at the Apollo. But before we go any further, I need you to do me a solid. If you could drop a like and a comment on this video for the algorithm, I would greatly appreciate it. Matter of fact, if you haven't done it yet or you're new to the channel, go ahead and smash that subscribe button because I'm posting bangers on a daily basis. But y'all ready for this one? Let's run it, baby. Let's get it. Let's go. Apollo, please welcome comedian Billy Burr. These are calling Billy Burr? Apollo, please welcome comedian Billy Burr. Oh, shit. What's up, everybody? Never, never, never heard anybody call him that before. You know what I mean? How you doing, man? Sorry, sorry. I want to start out letting you know I know I'm white. <laughs> I just want to tell you that I'm one of the few white dudes left who actually knows that. You know what I mean? Seriously, man, I don't know what the hell happened to my people. <laughs> You know? It's like nobody wants to be white anymore. I'm like the only dude left keeping it real, you know? Seriously, you know? Like, you know, I love, I love all these white kids now who are like all walking around trying to act like they're like gangster rappers now because they got like a couple of Tupac CDs, you know? <laughs> it's, ridiculous. it's like everywhere I go, man, I'll be like in the middle of Kansas, right? There'll be some howdy doody looking white kid like me, you know? I'm thinking he's gonna be like talking like me, all of a sudden he's just like, yo, what's up, kid? Like, what's up, kid? Just want to be like, nothing much, Brad. Brad. <laughs> you know, how's the corn? Are you keeping it real in Wichita? Yeah. <laughs> Is that what you're doing? You're representing Topeka, son? Keeping it real on your tractor? <laughs> How the hell are you going to be a gangster in like the middle of Nebraska? <laughs> What do you be like, all hardcore about your crop? <laughs> you know? Just trying to make it sound crazy. Like, yo, things are crazy, you know what I'm saying? Corn wasn't growing, scarecrows tipping over, you know what I'm saying, son? <laughs> I'm telling you, man, some of my people should not be allowed to listen to rap music. You know? They can't handle it. You know, it's like it confuses them. I, you know, I don't know what it is. You know, it's like I listen to this stuff, but like when I'm done listening to it, I like maintain my whiteness, you know? <laughs> I'm still me. I don't walk away all confused thinking I'm like Biggie Smalls or something. <laughs> I mean, I listen to Irish music and I walk away going like... <laughs> He's being like, I ain't even a leprechaun. <laughs> Top of the morning to your latte. Just want to walk up to those dudes just be like, dude, you're white. You know, what's the problem? Health insurance, job opportunity, what the hell are you running from? <laughs> <laughs> it's oh, a great shit. gig. I'll tell you though, man, they're not the most embarrassing though out of all my people, you know? You know like the dumbest of the dumb, or white people are? Has to be white supremacist, man. Seriously. Right. You know what I mean? I'm serious, man, they're actually, I swear to God, they're, they're like dumber than the Klan, you know? which I didn't think was possible, but you gotta give it up to the Klan, because at least the Klan has the brains to be like, well, man, we should put some sheets over our heads. <laughs> think that might be a good idea. You know? At least you have the brains to know that you gotta wear a disguise. You know on a certain level you're doing something a little screwed up, right? Right. Somewhere in your head you know you're wrong, right? But I'm sitting there in Texas, I'm watching the TV, one of those white supremacists comes on TV. They don't even care, man. They just stand right in the open, just going, what power? <laughs> That's the thing, what power? <laughs> then they always drive away in like the biggest piece of crap you ever seen in your life. Like no idea how dumb they look, like some rusted out pickup, they're like, what power? <laughs> <laughs> I come from a superior race, buddy. <laughs> Clown, give me a jump, come on. <laughs> Please, crap. It's true, man. They just mad because they're broke. It's true, man. You know, I'll tell you, you know what? It sucks being a broke white guy, too. It does. You know why? Because nobody cares. 
<laughs> I'm serious, man. There is no sympathy for a broke white guy. There's no sympathy. There's no telethons. There's no groups trying to hook you up. Nobody cares. I don't even care. Seriously, when I'm down the village and some white kid asks me for a quarter, I'm always just like, dude, get the hell out of here. <laughs> it's like you're white. The whole deal's set up for you. <laughs> All you gotta do is try. <laughs> it's just like, just go out there and mingle, you lazy bastard. Something will happen. I'm not saying that's right. That's just, you know, it's just what I think when I see it, you know? So I'm white as hell, man, basically, you know? I, I do, man. I get like, I get, you know what I always get nervous? I always get nervous when I ride the train, you know what I mean? I get like that mug me kind of face, you know what I mean? So when I ride the trains, what I do is I always like stare at the floor. That's my big thing, you know? You know, don't look at me, I'm not looking at you. I'm just trying to get where I'm going. It's like I exist, but I don't exist. So I'm taking the downtown six. This is a good, like, two months ago, right? And I'm sitting there, I'm staring at the floor. There's like 20 other people in the middle of the train, right? All of a sudden, I hear this lady's voice at the back of the train. She's going, she's going, ow! Let go of my neck! Oh, shit. I swear to God, she's going, ow! You're hurting me! Let go of my neck! You know, it's like you don't want to look. <laughs> you know what I mean? You're just kind of sitting there like going, like, settle that. <laughs> Make it go away. Don't want to see the rest of that. Oh, but it just keeps going. She's going, I said, ow! You're hurting me. Let go of my neck. So finally, I got to look. I look down, and I swear to God, this dude, he's got his girl right by the back of the neck. He's going, you shut the hell up. Oh, he shit. Shut the mouth. He's going, ah! Shut up. So I don't know what the hell to do, you know? I mean, I don't know how to fight. <laughs> you know, what am I gonna do? I'm gonna walk down the end of the train, five seconds later, I'm gonna be going, ah! <laughs> oh, shit! <laughs> <laughs> so I didn't do a damn thing. <laughs> I just sat to hell with her. She picked him. Damn. You know I mean? <laughs> wow. So I like living here, man. I do live in New York. You know, this is the one city I seriously I haven't lived in. I grew up in the suburbs, if you haven't noticed. <laughs> this is the one city I ever lived in, seriously, man, where like all the races of people, everybody's like all mixed in together, you know? Everybody kind of fools around with each other, you know? That's cool. I never did nothing like that till I, I lived here for like a month. I started fooling around with this girl who lived in my building. Turned out she was like Puerto Rican, right? Yeah, I was like in way over my head, okay? <laughs> uh, so we started fooling around. Let me tell you something. The second we started fooling around, I felt like an unbelievable amount of pressure to like do a good job. You know what I mean? No, seriously, because anytime you hook up with somebody, you always want to make sure you're doing a good job, right? But all of a sudden now, it was like interracial, right? So... I felt like this whole extra added level of pressure, you know? You know what I mean? I almost felt like I felt like it was like the sexual Olympics or something. The sexual you know, Olympics. It was almost like I wasn't just humping for myself anymore. It's like I had to like hump for my race. <laughs> Seriously, I was waiting for like my ancestors to cheer me on in the background. Come on, Lenny, give it to her for God's sake. Get that pasty bum going. Come on, Lenny. <laughs> Let her know what that leprechaun's all about. Give me that pot of gold, Lenny. Give me that pot of gold. Yo, you, know, I, time. you guys were a lot of fun. Thank you very this much. This was a completely different Bill Burr. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, no, I don't want to say completely different, but I've seen like the evolution. You know what I'm saying? But yo, nonetheless, this is absolute fire right here. Sound off in the comments below. Let me know what is next from Bill Burr. And I get to it ASA. P, but yo, I'm gonna end this video right here. If you made it to the very end, you know, MVP, baby. No cap. If you enjoyed this video. Y'all know what to do. Make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching, gang. I appreciate y'all. Love y'all. Peace.